So here is my wireless keyboard and trackpad that I bought for my home theater PC when I built it. But the day has come and this piece of junk has finally died completely. It just doesn't work anymore. And I am not upset. I'm actually kind of glad because it gave me an excuse to buy one of these. When I bought this, I think it cost me around $70. And um, it was the, bit, the best bargain I could find for a compact keyboard and trackpad unit. And I had high hopes for it. Unfortunately, it failed. Literally and figuratively. It failed because it has what could possibly be one of the worst trackpads I've ever had the displeasure of using. It's like a first generation trackpad. It's ultra sensitive to touch. You can't disable the touch, and um, so like if you accidentally double tap, it opens up whatever you're hovering over. Um, you can't disable that feature. There are no updated drivers for it. Um, what eventually did kill it was when I accidentally dumped half a can of soda into it. Um, <laughs> Maybe it was premeditated, I don't know. I had it sitting on the coffee table and I knocked over a can of soda and it just spilled into it. I tried to clean it out but it wasn't successful. Now the battery's dying in it and I'm like, screw that. So I went on eBay and I found this. This is a Logitech K400. Yep. Um, I am 90% sure this is a knockoff. So I'm... <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I bought it on eBay. It cost me like $35. And uh, it shipped in a bubble package with two pieces of cardboard to protect the keyboard. Yeah. Real high quality. I apologize. I'm getting over a rather bad cold. I know that happens a lot, it seems. This is like my third cold this year. What the hell? Anyway, so one of the downfalls to this design, and I knew it before I bought it, but I bought it anyway, is that it is a right-handed trackpad. I am a southpaw. Um, I'm going to have a hard time using this, <laughs> which is one of the reasons I like this one, because it obviously is... Uh, universal. Um, I couldn't find a left-handed version of the K400, but I guess I'm in a minority, so that's just not going to happen. It did come with two Duracell batteries, and they don't look like Chinese knockoff batteries. They kind of look like they're legitimate. Um, I I'm really not sure why it was packaged the way it was. Was it a return? Was it used? I mean, it shows no signs of use. Is it a knockoff? Well, that's probably what it is. Or it could be an OEM package. I don't know. And they just split them up. Like, they bought a case of them at the OEM price. And, you know. So let's uh, wake the beast up here. I'm going to stick this USB receiver in one of my front USB ports. I wonder if it'll let me close the door. No. So I was going to have to go and... It's going to have to go in my USB extension, which is right up here. And, uh... Because <clears throat> if I put it in the back, chances are it won't work. So, so let's put that in there. I'm going to fire it up. Okay. I'm going to turn my television on and change the channel. I think it's set to this one. Yeah, that should do it. So this thing sucks. Um, I mean, as a keyboard it was okay, but the non-standard layout kind of threw me off. Um, it has the same layout as a Toshiba laptop which I never liked those either. So, anyway, let's see if the... It hasn't recognized yet, so give it a minute. <coughs> but 
But yeah, I don't know if this is genuine Logitech or if this is a genuine knockoff. I, I really can't tell. I mean, Logitech is known for quality products, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, I guess. Okay, wireless kicked in. I've had to do a lot of, um, a lot of changes on my system here, killing off certain startups. Like, for instance, the driver for my wireless interface, or wireless network card, was written for Windows Vista, which isn't 100% Windows 7 compliant, I guess, or compatible. So I've had to disable portions of that driver uh, to get that to work right. So I still have nothing for control yet. I'll give that a minute or so. It says it's ready to use. I'm not seeing that yet, but <laughs> I still have no control. Let's see if the start menu opens. and No, it doesn't do that either. Uh, so, let's see. It's not like a communication. I didn't get any instructions with it, which blows. Not that I need them, but it's um, not really communicating for me. That should be closed automatically, unless my machine locked up on me, which would explain that. But I don't think it did. So yeah, this isn't working yet. Um, <laughs> not sure why. Maybe I should restart it again. I have nothing else to control it with. So. Maybe a. Well, I still see hard drive activity. Maybe it's busily awaiting something. I'll give that a minute. Okay, I found the secret. Right there. <laughs> it has an on and off switch. Who would have thought? So, it now works. So let's see here. I'm going to open up my start menu and I'm going to try to find the driver for this. Um, because that will, that way I'll have some control over the tap feature. I want to disable the tap to select or tap to, um, you got it. Yeah, so uh, Logitech. K400. So there it is. Retails for $34.99 at a retailer near you. $39.99 at Office Depot or $41 at CDW. If this product had been around when I bought my, um, when I originally bought the damn thing, um, I would have bought this instead. <laughs> but, you know, it's smaller. It fits in the lap much nicer. <coughs> anyway. So let's try to get the uh, drivers for the K400. Keyboard and mice combos, gaming. Let's just search K400. Enter. I'm already liking this. Now which version do I have? The YR0019. That's the one I've got. Actually, wait a minute. K400R. I think I have this one over here. Not that it really matters, but I think it's... Okay, go for it. Uh, replacement parts, warranty, downloads. Download software. There we go. Set point smart. Save file. All right, so I'm going to install that. I just noticed a handy feature. It has this little button here that actually performs the um, the left click function. So you can actually hold it in your hands while mousing with your thumb. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So. Yeah, um, I was going to do a video of this too. This is a project that I'm working on now. Um, this is an Arduino. Uh, what model? 2560. And I'm uh, hopefully going to start learning a little bit of programming. I want to build something. Not really sure what yet, but I want to build something. So, 
I went and picked up an Arduino kit. I got the uh, little starter kit with all sorts of different components, and which included the breadboard. And I bought the Arduino itself uh, to play with. So far, I've managed to make it blink a light, so making some headway there. And uh, so that that'll that'll come pretty soon. Um, anyway, so as with all installers these days when you download something from the company website it really doesn't do much more than download an installing application which downloads the real thing kind of like flash player and yeah so it's now installing for me which is cool um, so far I like it I mean it takes up way less space than this honking thing and um, it weighs about probably one-third <laughs> as much. This thing is heavy, but I don't need that anymore. So here we go. This is nice. Really nice. I might pick one up for a friend of mine who has a really bad keyboard for his home theater PC. I meant to give him and his new wife a, a wedding gift, and um, I think that might be it. <laughs> I'll buy one of these for them. They'll like that. Um, <clears throat> All right, so I don't want to register my product because it's probably not legitimate. It's probably a knockoff or it's stolen or something. I don't know. So that's all nice installed and everything. And uh, Windows Touch keyboard. Oh, it even has the battery indicator on the screen. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I have my um, my home theater PC set to such a low resolution because I need to be able to read it from my couch. And, uh, you know, having it such a high resolution is hard on the eyes. I don't care who you are. It just tells me it's full. So I, from, ooh, from here I should be able to control the, uh, can I disable tap to select? Yes, tap to click. There we go. So now I can hammer on the trackpad all I want and it won't select things that I don't want it to select. That's pretty cool. Nice. So that's good. That's good. I like that. Alright, I'm going to go play with my keyboard now. So, um, you guys keep on trucking. So yeah, this is a fairly decent product, even if you get the knockoff one. It even has on-screen volume indicator as part of the software. Um, the software is not necessary to use it, it just enables some pretty cool features. This brings me to my home page, which is Google, and I like that. All right. So, is it kiosk mode or something? Looks like it. I love this. This is cool. Um. <coughs> yeah. So I'm sick. Really sick, and I'm not. Caps lock on, caps lock off, so that doesn't that. There is no num lock, of course. We're not doing our taxes on it, so that's not a big deal. Uh, that should bring up the start menu, and it does. Good, good, good. And it turns out, using this trackpad right-handed isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So, hallelujah. Um, I need to move this window down so I can... I can't do that. I know I just saw the, um, it's one of the downfalls to keeping your resolution so high, or low, as the case may be, um, I should say low because it's low, because you can't really close things, you can do that, and I can just, you know, boom, bada bing, close, window, goodbye, all right. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. 39 degrees, really? Doesn't feel like it. All right. Oh, uh, real quick, the um, the what is that? A a Netgear? Yeah, the Netgear software that that I had to disable, um, which was actually I think it was a the piece that I turned off was the um, wireless network selection tool where it always scans for wireless networks. Um, I had to disable that because it was ramping up my CPU usage to 100%. And 
as such, my fans, I, I came downstairs, like, right after putting it all together, and um, my CPU fan was screaming, like a bat out of hell, and uh, I went and took a look at the uh, resource monitor, and I found that the, the wireless network application was maxing out the CPU. And I, I'm like, that can't be. So I disabled it, and all's well in the world. Um, I finally worked out all the kinks of this machine. Oh, looks like I've got some some uh, drive, uh, updates to install, so I'm going to do that. But anyway, i got to get to sleep. I'm so zonked. I'm on NyQuil. It sucks. And i got to upload some stuff, so that way I don't... Ah, water. Dave & Buster's water. the hell? Sounds like a chopper. Oh, it's a truck. Using the engine brake. Look at he's towing a train. Oh, that's messed up. Nine updates. That's what I get for not using this machine in a week. <laughs> that's how long it's been out of service. Alright guys, I'm, I'm signing off and this thing can go to hell. Isn't that right? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Where's Leela? Did you eat her? Oh, there she is. I can... Oh, look. She's poking her nose out. There she is. There's my Leela. How you doing? I you see your little hand in your nose. Yeah. Don't tap on glasses. Stupid. Don't do that. All right. Anyway. Good night, guys. Okay, so I'm ready to create a final review for this product. Um, I have used it um, actually quite a bit in the past ten minutes or no, past two hours or whatever I've however long it's been, and I have to say it's a terrific product. And one thing I like about it is it does have the two thinkers scroll option, but it's not a full gestures or multi-touch enabled trackpad, which is okay. Um, it does what I need it to do. And it does work perfectly when you're holding it in your, in two hands. This becomes your um, left click button, and you can still control the trackpad smoothly with your thumb. Brilliant! It just works. And me being left-handed does not seem to be a problem with it. Um, I can actually use it just fine. Um, I did notice that it does have a blue function key option, which brings some of the legacy controls back. Page up, page down, home end, um, of course the uh, menu button, and pause, print screen, and scroll lock. So those options, or those buttons are not completely removed. They're buried in there. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say about this. It's a terrific product, and I, uh, for $35, can't go wrong. So, um, yeah.